All right, hello everybody, Mr. Risto here. Uh, welcome to Tonga Online AP Macro. And I wanted to take this opportunity to welcome everyone and to uh, show you around uh, Schoology, the course here, the inner workings of the course, where things are located, and how you can uh, be successful over the next few months here during the summer while you're taking AP Macro. Uh, I also made a separate video uh, explaining a little bit about myself. It's also posted in um, the welcome folder here that you see on Schoology, this folder here that we'll get to here in a moment. But uh, long story short, um, I'm coming to you from my classroom here in Minnetonka High School, and uh, I just wrapped up my 30th year teaching. 20 of those years have been here at Minnetonka, and uh, most of those years I've taught AP Macroeconomics along with AP U.S. History, and uh, global studies and economics, and also IB economics. So uh, kind of a boat, fu boat full of uh, econ and AP US history is what makes up most of my days here at Minnetonka. So I want to take you through some of the things here on Schoology, where things are located, and some of the policies that are really, really important in the way for online and how things will, will operate, okay? And... <clears throat> One of the things I want to stress here at the beginning is a couple of things that will make Tonka Online or your online experience uh, successful and ensure success uh, by the time we're finished. And one of those is communication. So one of the things that I urge you to do is to contact me, <coughs> excuse me, contact me as often as you can or you need to, um, given that it is the summer, it's not quite like uh, the school year, but even though it's the summer, feel free to message me or email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can, okay? And the other thing that makes, uh, I think, an online experience um, a positive one is not just communication, but also um, questions. If you have any questions about anything, please get a hold of me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So, again, email or message, okay? Um, on Schoology here, hopefully you can see my cursor on your screen, my page is going to look a little bit different than yours. But the best way to get a hold of me if I scroll down here, I'm not sure if this is on your page or not, but the best way to get a hold of me is to message me here on Schoology. Okay, that's going to be your primary means of communication. And like I said, even though it's the summer, uh, I do check uh, often, of course, um, since we are running the course, we've always run this course during the summer months. I do check often at least once a day, uh, maybe even twice a day. Uh, sometimes I devote a period of my day to just online, you know, like an hour or two, depending on if we're coming up on an exam or not. But the point is, make sure you message me here first. Okay, I will see that first. And if you need to in some sort of emergency or whatever, you could also email me. And the email address is my first name dot last name at mtka.org. Or you could also email me at minnetonkaschools.org. First name dot last name at minnetonkaschools.org. All right. But your first go to is always um, a Schoology message. Okay. Um, where you want to begin, and if you're watching this video, it means you have found the video and you have found the welcome folder. Where you want to begin is go to the welcome folder, and you'll see there are a number of things. We are not going through all of these, but there are a few here that I want to call your attention to. Uh, the AP Classroom folder, this is where you're going to find the AP registration materials for the 2024 exam. Uh, and if you've done this before, you're familiar with how to do this. You need to have an AP or a College Board account. Um, I do not have, or let me back up, the PDF instructions are here. The non-Minnetonka students, your registration materials are here. I do not have the join codes yet because the College Board does not release those uh, until later in the summer. Uh, Mrs. Herbst, our AP and IB coordinator, said that she hopes to get those early July. So as soon as I have those, I will post the join code for this section of, of AP Macro here, and I'll let you know when I've done that. All right, but for now, um, the join codes I do not have yet, but hopefully we will get those in the next, uh, I don't know, maybe next couple weeks. Okay. 
here is my welcome letter that I sent out to everybody. All right, if you wish to reread that or show it to mom or dad, that's great. Um, this is the video that you are watching now. And this is the video here, the one entitled Meet Mr. Ristow. I have a few more biographical items about myself and my family and what I like to do and whatnot when I'm not teaching AP Macro and AP U.S. History. I would encourage you to watch that video um, as well in your free time. The other things here are mainly uh, policy items or scheduling items, timeline, okay? This item here is the June 2023 pacing calendar. So if I open this up, you're going to see this is just kind of a rough idea of where you will want to be. Now, I get it. You have a school aging calendar. That should be your primary calendar. That's where things are going to be posted. Assignments, tests, uh, things like that. But this is kind of pacing in case, this is a pacing calendar in case you're going to be gone, for example. And you want to see where we're going to be in 10 days or two weeks or whatever. Uh, what part of the unit are you going to miss? So you can see here, unit one begins September 19th. All formative work is going to be due on the 28th with the unit exam on the 29th. Okay, that's what that calendar is for. I have one there for June. I have one there for July and August. All right, so I would encourage you to reference those. Most importantly, though, however, you can see over here on the right, on the right side of my screen, is the Schoology calendar. That is the one that you definitely want to pay attention to because um, uh, that's where things will be posted. All right. Um, the next two items here I want to spend a couple minutes on. One is the reassessment policy. Because AP Macro is an online course and um, because uh, all of the assessments are essentially open note summative assessments, um, there are no reassessments in AP Macro for the online AP Macro, AP Macro. Okay, there are no reassessments. So what I do, however, to compensate for that, if you will, is I do use a College Board conversion scale or table. Those of you who had a push with me this past year, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I do tend to drop a point or two possible uh, for each exam if necessary. And that's going to affect, of course, the overall average uh, score. You know, that would help boost your score. Um, so what I do is there are no reassessments moving forward. And again, this is due to the nature of the, of the course being essentially open note. And if necessary, I will drop a couple of points possible on each exam, uh, if need be. Okay, so do be aware of that policy. No reassessments. The other policy that I want to show you is the one that is straight from Tonka Online. Um, this is from uh, Mr. Standerson and the program itself. Remember that online courses, especially if you are new to them, are self-pacing courses. All right, so we want to point out a couple of uh, items here to help you be a successful learner in Tonka Online. Make sure you're checking into the course four or five times a week. Um, Make sure that you are um, meeting the due dates, deadline dates, things like that. Now, the thing that I want to stress and what Tonka Online stresses is that online self-pacing is flexible, okay? But it's flexible within the unit time frame, okay? It's, unit, it's flexibility within the unit. So if you read this paragraph here with me, you have the flexibility to create your own schedule and plan for learning the content within the unit, okay, and deadline parameters that are set by me, uh, the instructor. So what that means is it doesn't matter when you do the work within the confines of the unit. I don't care if you do it all at one time within the confines of the unit or if you spread it out. It's summer. People have vacations. People have leisure time. That's great. That's what summer is for. At the same time, you are taking a course a course uh, through Taka Online, so you are expected to meet deadline dates, okay, uh, short of some emergency. So what I'm saying is uh, you set the routine, you set the interaction with the course material, you have that flexibility up to the day of the summative exam. Once the summative exam rolls around, 
you'll see on the calendar, I've already shown you the, the pacing calendar, formative work will close, formative quizzes will close at 11.59 the night before the exam, all formative work will close. I do not reopen anything, okay, formative work. I will not reopen it. The summative exam will take place on the day you see on your calendar, and uh, I usually spread that out over a day or two, and then we'll go on to the next unit. All right. Summative exams will need to be taken on time. All right. And I'll explain that more once we get to it. And there'll be a 10% penalty for late and a 50% penalty if it's taken after two weeks. So I will explain that as well the closer we get to the unit, the first unit exam. But the most important thing here off of this screen is this paragraph right here. You have the flexibility to set your time schedule, your time frame, when you want to work on the material within the confines of the unit up to the end of that unit. Once the unit is over with, we move on to the next unit. Okay, just like we would uh, if we were in the building here. Okay, so please be aware of that. That is an important document, the self-pacing guideline document. The other documents here are just the uh, course syllabus. I would encourage you to look at those. Uh, maybe to show them to your parents. We've got the course syllabus, the college board overview of AP Macro, and um, taking a look at um, this slide here, uh, this presentation here, I just want to show you a couple of things as far as the course goes. The course is broken up into um, six units. We will cover all six units by the end of August. You'll see those on the pacing calendar. Okay. And uh, a couple of the key homework assignments, you'll have some problem sets uh, to do. There will be six of those, each worth well over 100 formative points. There'll be reading quizzes for each unit. And uh, we probably will not get to the book Naked Economics, but rather uh, you'll be working on weekly current event, a current event, an economic current event assignment that'll be due probably every Friday throughout the course of the summer. Okay, those will be five points and they will be summative. So those will be more like a, a buffer, a booster, if you will, to help boost that grade. All right, so uh, more about those later. In fact, I have the first one already posted on your calendar. So I would take a look at that document as well or those slides. This PDF here, you will want to get familiar with, download it on your device. This is the textbook. Krugman's Macroeconomics for AP 3rd Edition. Make sure you have that someplace. All right, it's already here, but if you download it on your uh, device, you'll have a PDF of it. That is the textbook. The exams for the course are based on that textbook, among other things. All right, so make sure you have that, you have access to that. Um, one of the first things I'm going to have you do here is uh, complete a brief introductory activity. You'll see a discussion board. You'll see that posted on your calendar already as well, uh, where you introduce yourself, uh, follow the prompts and the activity. It's very simple and make about a 60 to 90 second video. Okay. And that's all you have to do. And then post it. I think one of the most important things too for an online course is community. So we kind of like to know who's in the course, meet each other a little bit. And this is a way to do that through an introduction. Course description, uh, some um, uh, cheat sheet notes as far as diagrams go. And uh, the rest of the stuff down here is if you have tech, tech problems. All right, so if Schoology isn't working or if Skyward isn't working, if you need any kind of student support, you can contact the phone numbers that I have there, email addresses that I have there for the um, help desk here at Minnetonka. And they hopefully will be able to help you with any tech issues. All right, so. Um, moving on, if you have any general questions about the course, here's a discussion board that you can post your question to. Sometimes I may not be available, but maybe if one of you guys see the question, go ahead and answer it. Just remember that any questions or items posted to this discussion board are public, so we want to keep those appropriate and respectful. All right, but any questions about the course or anything that you're wondering about, do post those there. The course is broken up into six units. You'll see each unit has a content folder. I'll make the content folder available to you um, once every, all on the same day, all at the same time. 
All right. So you notice on your calendar, Unit 1 will finish on August, or excuse me, on June 28th, and the exam will open on the 29th. So here you'll see um, a Unit 1 video that I have made. Make sure that you watch that Unit 1 overview video. I give you a brief overview of what Unit 1 is about. Um, there is a folder that will consist of lecture videos and Google Slides. These are largely your notes. These videos here are videos that the College Board has made. So I would definitely watch those. They are fantastic. They are from the daily videos uh, that the College Board has made over the last year or two. They are wonderful. So use those as a resource. All right. And then you'll have a homework assignment folder that you want to reference. Those will be posted uh, if anything on your calendar lessons here that you want to work through and look at and then uh, the um, <clears throat> reading quizzes for each folder as well for each unit those will also be posted on your calendar so each folder is um, set up the same way you'll notice that i have the due date when formative work is due it will time out afterwards uh, on the due date at 11 59 on the date given you'll also see that here on your calendar Okay, so make sure you're following the folder. You're only going to have one folder to keep track of of any given time, and you'll have your calendar uh, with items posted uh, there for your for your organization for your organization about the unit. Okay, so that's about all that I have for now. Uh, do get started with with the um, uh, the introductory activity. That's that should be your first first thing that you do and uh, taking a look at some of the other items that I pointed out here in the welcome folder, all right? And as far as summer goes, I mentioned before, it is summer, it is a time for relaxation. Please let me know uh, if you're going to be gone for an extended trip or if you have this going on or that going on. I am flexible that way. Uh, however, at the same time, please understand and realize you did sign up to take a course in the summer. So that means you're still responsible for deadlines and, and due dates and whatnot, and we want to stay on track uh, because that'll make it a lot easier come the end of August. Okay, so again, if you have any questions of me early on, make sure you are messaging me in Schoology first. All right, that's your first line of communication or emailing me. That is your second line of communication. All right, so with that, welcome again to the course. Um, and I uh, hope everybody has a great start to the course, and please get a hold of me if you need to. All right, thanks, everybody. Bye for now.